All right, we have only been spending a couple of minutes working with Dolly and she's already starting to get the point of this exercise. Um, so this should be a pretty easy intervention for you. We're teaching her the go command. The go command means get out of this space. Where she goes, we don't care. Goes into a crate, goes into the bedroom, goes outside, we don't care. So what I was gonna start focusing on doing was saying go and then showing her that I do not want her to come into the living room until I call her in. That is important, one, because it starts to require her to show respect for you, for your living room, for the fact that you are the leader of these two dogs. She is not Diesel's leader. So what I did was I had Deb, who's sitting over here with Diesel on the, on the love seat, crinkle um, pepperoni bags and she has cookies and other things and had Dolly come right up. So both dogs were right up in there. And then I said, Dolly, go. And I walked toward her and created spatial pressure, which means here's Dolly. And as I walk toward her, I just move her away by walking into her space. So I tell her go while I back her up. I did that and she went around the different points of access to the living room. And each time she went near one, I would walk toward her and say, go. Now we tried to get ready to do the exercise um, to show you on video. And when I did one go, she went over here and laid down. And so now she's not coming in the living room because I said go. So that means she gets it. That's the good news. So now what I need to do, when we tried to get her to come back to Deb's crinkling, she wouldn't come. She was like, I know what you're up to. So what I've done this time is, excuse me while I adjust the camera. I have two things. I have a bag of the kids' cereal. That's fun because it's a new smell. And I have a bag of leftover chili, even better. So I'm going to be putting these either on the floor or on the furniture with the bag open so that they can smell. Now, what you're going to see me doing is probably telling Diesel to go as well, which is fine. You'll get to see how I do it. But I want you to focus getting Dolly acclimated to the go command. So here we go. Dolly, come here, baby. Come here, baby. Good girl. So I'm just going to give them both a little... Oh, hold on. I'm going to give them both just one little bite of cereal because they came when they were called. Here, Del. Good girl. Okay. Diesel didn't want it. So here we go. Hey, Dolly. Dolly knows something's up. <laughs> here we go. So I'm going to put the cereal on the floor and I'll tell them both. Diesel, go. Go. So notice how I walk into him? Go. Look at Dolly. Dolly's all ready. Diesel, go. I'll use my hand if I need to. Go. So I just told him to go out of the room. That is also what we've been telling Dolly. But you can see that Dolly is in her crate. The minute she heard the word go, she left. So go command is going to be an easy one for you to develop with her. And I might add, so chili on the floor. Putting it all in the middle. So right now, that stuff represents um, food or humans or one of the other dogs. Diesel, go. There he is. Diesel, go. Walk toward him, spatial pressure. When he backs up, I walk away. So he's still hovering there, but he backed up. That shows respect. Let me turn it a little more. Okay, so now he's leaving, which is what we want. Let's come back to center, where you can see Deb and Dolly. So, you get the idea. You want something they want. Food, a human, the other dog, something. You want to create for this exercise something that draws them to you. And then you can teach them both the Go Command, but you really want to focus on Dolly. So you are giving her the word and you're walking toward her into her space. And when she backs up and you're confident that she's got the message, you turn and walk away. And then if she approaches again, you just say the word go. If she doesn't oblige, get up and go back her up. But she already, when she hears the word, is leaving. So, um, so let's work the go command with Dolly. 
um, as a tool to say to her, you're not the boss of Diesel, you don't own this room. So go anytime she's owning sofa, anytime she shows attitude with Diesel, and but most importantly, find ways to just practice it in innocuous, neutral situations. All right, over and out.